Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film RT, your number one source for all things films and movies. And it seems like over the years, Mark Ruffalo has really evolved into an iconic actor from the MCU that a lot of fans really love and adore. And we thought it would be really interesting if we took a little bit of a closer look at some of the best and funniest moments from his career. And sometimes Mark Ruffalo has had some really awkward moments along the way. It can be incredibly hilarious while also funny at the same time, and we wanted to look at this because some of these moments are just too good to miss out on. Like for instance, there was this moment where he had to retell the story about how he accidentally live streamed the first segment of Thor Ragnarok onto Facebook by accident. They asked me to do social media backstage, and at that time it was like Facebook Live had just hit the, um, the apps, and um, <laughs> and so I, um, I I was back there doing my FaceTime Facebook living, and um, <laughs> I thought I hit the off button, but I didn't realize it had two different off buttons. <laughs> <laughs> and when I knew, first my phone was just blowing up like I was getting these texts, and I was like, oh. My. I hope my or there was this time where Mark Ruffalo literally let a huge Avengers Infinity War spoiler out and Don Cheadle's reaction just really paints the picture as to how significant and severe the spoiler was. That well, somebody always bites or gets really badly. Wait worse. till you see this next one. Everybody dies. Do do do, 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 not everybody. No. Is that? No. Hey, lady, whatever. Can we rewind that part? <laughs> That's Mark Ruffalo and Don Cheadle, and that is an interview. It seems like a lot of people acknowledge Mark Ruffalo's funny awkwardness along the way as well, as we've seen really interesting examples of co-stars making fun of him, like in this moment. They're like, you're a lot smaller than you look on screen. <laughs> really? That's like the uh, number one thing people say. I'm like, really? great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think everybody's smaller in real life. Yeah, it's right? true. Like every single actor I've ever seen is, is and looks I'm, smaller and I'm in extra scale. smaller? <laughs> no, no, you're the same amount of small. You're not particularly small. I'm Everyone's the smallest small. Avenger. <laughs> But if you look, I'm, I'm always looking up around me. <laughs> I'm always looking up. And sometimes he runs into some awkward moments in real life as well. Like when he had to explain while on the Jimmy Fallon show that he was at one point asked to turn into the Hulk by a preschooler. <laughs> are, are, are you the Hulk? <laughs> And I was like, well, no, what? And my daughter's like, yeah, he's the Hulk! <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, can you turn into the Hulk? And I was like, uh, she's like, do it, Daddy, do it! <laughs> so I went, and he went, no, 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 no. <laughs> But that's not all of the interesting or unique moments Mark Ruffalo's been in, like this time where he just started aggressively singing while in an interview for Avengers Endgame with Chris Evans. Yeah, I'm gonna take, take my horse down to Old Town Road. Wait, we're meant to say it dramatically. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take my horse down to Old Town Road and I'm gonna ride him till I can't no more. Now we do have a few more moments that are really great of Mark Mar of Mark Ruffalo we'll get into in just a second, but first we want to give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, every Monday we ask a challenging Marvel-related trivia question over on our community tab, so if you want to have your comment featured right here in one of the videos, make sure you guys head over to our community tab on Mondays, answer the question correctly for a chance to have your comment featured right here in one of our videos. Okay, let's get right back into these moments. There apparently also was this time where Mark Ruffalo managed to accidentally get high while on stage. There was a play that I did that I had to, um, I, I, I smoked a joint in the first scene. And um, of course there was a very, um, a very naughty young actor I was in the play with who uh, on the opening night with all the critics. For the opening night? He uh, slipped a real joint. <gasps> onto the prop table. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you can really appreciate Mark Ruffalo and his comedic sense of humor, like the time he was on the Jimmy Fallon show, and he bonded a bit laughing over the fact that he lost an Emmy. Thank Last you. time I saw you, remember, uh, we lost at the Emmys. 
and I was there next to you. And it was like, good to see you, buddy. Thanks. And, uh, yeah. Thanks. Okay. No, remember we were sitting next to each other? And I asked you to read my, my um, acceptance speech since I lost. <laughs> yeah. And then I lost. And... <laughs> <laughs> Couple of losers. <laughs> I had a good time. We just sat there. We were in the loser section. Yeah. At one point, he also got called out for not seeing the television show Friends. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder. We do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out. Link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page. And let's go ahead and jump into this story. <laughs> The fact. I come from Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's one of them. No, you've uh, never seen Friends, have you? <gasps> I, I no, you that, must, no, you I, must I, have I, seen. I, you must that, have seen like. A, that, you must have seen. I've, I've seen a lot of parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> But as we know, Mark Ruffalo has had some problems when it came to spoilers now for a few times with him, of course, streaming Thor Ragnarok and then him spoiling Infinity War. So when it came time to promote Avengers Endgame, there were some really interesting and funny moments where Mark Ruffalo had to really try to avoid answering any type of question that he could get in trouble for to the best of his ability. Well, tell us what's happening with Dr. Banner and Hulk this in this movie? Um, they, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm not allowed to say anything. <laughs> uh, they, they, does, they're does having a the real Hulk problem. Does get angry at any point? Let me just say this to you. The only person or thing in the universe that, that Hulk is afraid of is Banner. And then, of course, some people played into a bit, hooking him up to a lie detector test while asking questions about an Avengers movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't. Trust we me. could cut this, right? No, we did this in rehearsal, and it's real deal. <laughs> all right, man. All right, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, oh. all right, good. Wow, that's... Is it tight? Yeah, right, here tight. we go. No, yeah, this is perfect here. Excuse me, see your face? <laughs> okay, good. That's perfect. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Try not... It's comfortable, right? Oh, it's like the 60s. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> But at the end of the day, a lot of fans really do like Mark Ruffalo, and I've seen a ton of just great, funny, and wholesome moments along the way. Like this time when he and Chris Evans did a Marvel quiz on which one of them would survive the Thanos snap. What you say is your personal character flaw? Where's none? Now wait, what does this have to do with this snap? We're gonna find out. I joke around too much. I have a short temper. I care too deeply. I'm uh, too damn cool. I too can, charming. I can be a little too blunt. I'm always confident. I'm not always confident. <laughs> There was also this interesting time where Chris Evans revealed that a fan took his and Mark Ruffalo's photos and edited them to look like girls, and he kind of just keeps talking about how cute he looks, which is just this awkward, funny, but also wholesome moment out of a really awkward and funny scenario. Seeing yeah. those, those I saw someone did like, they took all their faces and made us women. Didn't I send you those? What? The group thing? Yeah, so I you were kind of like weird You were like beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, Mark I, is he's, gorgeous. But he said that like <laughs> this 10 times. This is a kind of romance. So weird. I mean, so weird, it started though. again a little. You mean a restraining order yeah. at this point? <laughs> So what are your thoughts on Mark Ruffalo? We would love to hear what you guys think of this actor. Do you appreciate him playing the role of Hulk? And would you like to see him in the MCU even more into the future? Which movie would it be cool to see him guest star in? So we wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about all of this? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every day of the week. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. When you're out at a party, you take two puffs and you say, okay, that's enough, I'm so stoned. <laughs> but I was acting, and so I'm just like... <sighs> <laughs> and I was like, well, no, what? my dog were crying in the theater. Did you guys see any, did any of you cry? Mark? In the theater, Dave, you cried? I cried. I cried, yeah, I cried. I cried a little bit. Yeah. I did. I laughed at Mark crying. <laughs> <laughs>